Well, I don't know if uh, I'm allowed really to speak about what's gone on with the, um, the BPA. But, um, I'm understanding that tapes have been found and remastered. I can't say I remember uh, a lot from that time. Um, my English wasn't very good when I landed in, in, in Brighton. We can, talk, we can talk about this. Yeah, yeah, I haven't had the clear at all. No, no, one's, yeah, no one's not said nothing to me. No, you're okay. Come we on. can talk about this. Yeah. All right. I don't know if you remember, but when you were a kid, you used to get these things called kaleidoscopes. I met the VPA after I um, found a wormhole that traveled between 2008 and 1978. Um, yeah, so I was hanging out for like 10 years. Uh, what's your favorite instrument? Accordion. Accordion? Yeah. Where did you learn to play the accordion? At my grandma's. Was she a good accordion player? She never played it. <laughs> Could you just uh, introduce yourself and tell us what you're doing? Hello, um, I'm Jack Pignati. Uh I'm 23, I'm a Virgo, I'm blue-eyed. Well, I remember distinctly walking down a beach and hearing music coming from a, an old disused warehouse. Yeah, it's a dizzy rascal, yeah, I'm here chilling with the BPA, yeah, don't ever get it twisted, yeah. Forget the microphone, man, I'm, I don't do gram no more, yeah. Been with stylophone business, I met out with Fat Boy Slim and that they got me stylophone. No more MC or nothing like that. The game's over. I showed up there and I met Norman. He taught me how to um, speak English uh, in an American accent, which I just think is incredible that he was able to do that. He's clearly a talent. Simon and Norman found me and coached me in by saying, um, well, if, you know, I could, if I came in and to the studio and sang some stuff with them. And I was just humming a little tune uh, that was actually on one of the first ever BPA tapes. And it was, it was something like, lady turn the page. And it was actually about um, a girl turning the page. It was a no-brainer, as, as we say in my country. It was a no-brainer. Then opened my mouth and there it was. Booper? No, I'm not a member of Booper. I, I remember once I, we took a delivery of, um, I think it was 20 TVs, because we used to do like liquidized stock from shops. And we had to go to One Coat Mickey's first and get them all painted up, mauve, which was a, a bit weird, but part of their demands. They always paid with cash. Day after day after day, different people turning up. You, you know, local people, people from the States, people from all over the place. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hey, it's the BPA, we don't play. It's the BPA, no I'm saying. It's the BPA, yeah. Hey man, hey man, that was too much. That was, that was too much, that was too much. Somebody give me my coffee? Rolling. I don't think I can tell the asshole. Huh? I don't think I can tell the asshole when you go. Yeah. You've looked less like an asshole before. Okay. <laughs> so how are you surviving considering the BPA disappeared about 20 years ago? Fish. You know, I mean, they were dark. They were dark days, you know? Unfortunate. Yeah, we just kept going back there for over about two or three months, I think I was there for. Uh, and I just outstayed my welcome, they threw me out one day without even a warning. And that's all I can remember, really. The tapes have been found. The tapes have been found. The tapes have been found. <laughs>